Well, Simon, uh, first and foremost, you're the new under-18s manager for, for the new season. Uh, I guess you're looking forward to taking what you've learned as an assistant into the main role. Yeah, yeah it's, it's good. It's, um, you know, the, whole, the way the whole academy is structured now with Matt going to the 23s, um, we've got John Schofield in. I mean, there's just, it just seems there's just more of us to do, sort of get the job done in a way. I mean, I'm enjoying the bit more responsibility day to day, um, just trying to organise the group. But it's still early days in pre season, you know, at the minute we're just trying to get the boys fit and um, still have the 23s back and forth with us. And I think in the next probably week or two, we'll, we'll probably see the three groups sort of, um, sort of come together more, you know more directly with the first team 23s and us and then we can start really working on how we're going to play and, and plan for the season. Yeah, I mean you've had a lot of success as a, as a duo yourself and Matt over the last well, ever since you came in really. Yeah. I mean, you, I know I spoke many times about hitting the ground running but you, you two really have and, and, and you must be thrilled with how far you've taken the academy so far. Yeah, God, it, it couldn't have gone better really. I mean, obviously you've come in, you, you, don't, you don't know how it's, how it's going to go just starting out in coaching. It's totally different, um, totally different to playing. Um, there's so much to learn, and you just try and instill the good habits that that we learned growing up, you know, here and further on in our careers, and you and you try and get that across to the boys and, and what it takes to be a, a professional footballer and what it takes to play in a team. And you know, thankfully, we've had a bit of success, you know, as a team, and obviously, more importantly, I suppose, getting players through. Uh, getting their contracts and through and being in and around the first team. What's been the, the biggest challenge? I mean, it sounds a weird thing to say, but obviously we've had such a, a weird couple of years in general. Has that sort of everything together been a bit of a melting pot? Or have you found different things more challenging than others? Um, yeah, obviously with the pandemic, that was obviously challenging just um, day to day with players not being allowed in the building. Um, we're not we're not really being allowed in the building not, uh, too much. It was hard to plan. Um, but we, you know, we had a meeting when we come in as a staff on last Monday, and Kieran said, you know, he was very proud of the way that we'd handle it together as a group, and, and didn't really let it affect us as much as it probably it could have done, maybe. But we just got on with it, and we were very positive with it, and try to just make the best of the situation. So that shows, you know, real shows us how we are as a group of staff that we just want to get on with the job and do the best we can for the players. Um, and then just yeah, the whole thing. Uh, just you know coming in it's just you know you, as I said you're learning as a coach and you just pick up things you know great picking things up off the manager Robbo assistant and just you know, it's just a real good atmosphere around the place at the minute and it's a really exciting time to be at the club. I guess with academy football you have a good group who obviously win win a title get so far in, in cup competitions and then they move on into the next stage of their development and you have a new group sort of to work with. I know you've yeah. been working with the first years already, but I guess it's implementing what you want to do early doors. And I guess the, the fact you've had so many first years with you will help that transition. Yeah, definitely. I, we say it to the um, first years, or well, the second years at the beginning of every season, you know, remember last year because the second years helped the first years and it's sort of, a tr not tradition, but, um, you know, you want to get that... Um, uh, sort of feeling in the group where the older boys will definitely look out and help the younger boys settle in and then show them the standards um, you know and it's us as coaches then to drive that as, as a whole but if you can get that mentality in the group it definitely helps you know as you go through the season so you know it's it's a really competitive environment we try and create but enjoyable at the same time and one that they feel comfortable in enough to be able to ask questions challenge us as coaches and you know, we can all drive each other forward throughout the season. And I guess as a coach, the, the proud moment is when you see players go into the first team group and also those players, even if they're in the 23s, getting contracts, talking about how much you've helped them along the way. And I, I guess that's where the pride comes from. Oh, yeah, that is the best part of it. Like I said, we've had success. You know, we've been lucky enough to win the league the last years and that's it's brilliant uh, just to see the boys celebrating. But to see them go to the next step and being around the first team, Definitely, that's the best part of the job, and because um, you're trying to help them achieve their dreams. You know, that's it, coaches that I had, Paul Ashworth, when he was here. Um, you know, he he helped so much, and then you see that. I remember seeing the join his face when we, and then when we made our debuts, and then he was part of the first team group. But that, yeah, that's definitely the best part of it, seeing them, seeing them take the next step. Yeah, and, and planning a pre-season program, obviously you've got games to, to sort of fit in. What, what, what do you hope to achieve during a pre-season from a coach's perspective? Are you looking to, to make sure you simply just get them fit or is it a case of trying to get your ethos across quite quickly? Uh, 
Well, definitely the first two games is just more about getting them, the, the, them getting minutes under the belt. We're still going to have a, for the first two games, are going to be mixed with the 23 still. And I think once we get past Brighton, we'll separate then and have our 18s groups. So the last three or four pre-season games, that is when, in my head anyway, I've got that we're going to really try and get them, get them dialed into the shape we want to play, how we want to play it. And again, with we've got full-time analysts now. That's going to be massive for the, for the lads just to be able to see it, you know, on the screen. Because it's sometimes as a player, you think you're doing enough at one aspect of the game, but to see it and believe it, and then uh, you know that'll definitely, hopefully, increase our performance levels this year. Is that exciting as well? Because obviously the club will attain to Category Two status, don't get the, the, the planning permission. It's a great time to be a part of an academy as a player, as a coach, as an employee. And you know, even things yeah. like a full-time analyst, which you probably take for granted in any other oh, situation, it's, it's huge. It's unbelievable. We, I was, me and Matty were talking the other day. You know, when when I first come in, there was four of us out there. You know, me, him, physio, Jim, and, and Jimbo. You know, where we are now, we've got you know, another sports scientist. Jimbo's running the whole academy. Full-time analyst. Scoey's out there helping. You know, it's a proper. It just feels proper, proper now. And it's and it, again, it's, it's it's exciting to be part of.